Now, you should have finished your first leg before starting this um, part, but I wanted to go ahead and just show you how to begin the second leg. The second leg is worked exactly like the first leg, but we have one difference. We have to join our yarn into our second leg. And what I do is I leave a rather long tail here and just make your little slip knot here so that you can um, join your yarn right here to that the left of the stitch marker for your center for your second leg so we're just going to join here and it, as you can see we're leaving this really long tail and the purposes of that is for um, sewing up our center spot later it makes it a whole lot easier if you just do this first and we're going to make it exactly the same way so I slip stitched here and then we're just going to chain one for that first stitch and you want to make sure that as you're crocheting around these legs that you are making sure that you have 24 stitches because let me tell you how many times I have made something and I start the legs and I'm cruising and I think everything is going well and you know I get 10 15 rows in and I realize I've dropped a stitch or two or more somewhere along the way and I have to just rip it out and um, find basically I have to start it over because a lot of times I can't figure out where I missed the stitch so um, make sure every round with the legs is super easy to lose a stitch in the legs. So just count 24, 24, 24. It, even if you're not doing it every single round, you're doing it every other round just to save yourself the headache. So you're just going to go all the way around exactly how we did before so that we can, and that noise right there was my elbow, by the way. I did not pass gas. But anywho, super embarrassing. Um, we're going to just continue around, continue around all the way. All, oops. All the way. And I'm going to just show you again how to join the leg. Um, and you're going to want to um, use a stitch marker to show exactly where your rounds begin. So that was round one of the leg and we're going to flip it over and you're going to this is kind of the the tough part is identifying this stitch that very first one that we joined with the leg but you're going to find it and you got to kind of weasel your way into that one there we go and then this is going to be my stitch number one and I'm going to just use this one and I'm going to mark that stitch. And sometimes it's easier to mark it after you make the second stitch. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to get that in there. Okay, so I know that it's this stitch is my first stitch of the leg. First stitch of that round for the leg. So now I know. And I will just keep going around through row 79 and row 80. I start my decreases. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.